important to me in my work, physical is very important. It always has been. It's one of the reasons that I am a glass blower and became a glass blower was because when I was a painter and it wasn't as physical, it was in my mind would sort of take over and I would rather have my body take over and something to quiet the mind. Mm. So that walk does that too. It's like I can be, my mind can be going, 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 but, and my body's going, going too. And I realize, well, we're working together here, mind and body. When I'm blowing glass, if I'm thinking something else that does not have to do with that piece I'm working on, forget it. It doesn't work out. It, it, something usually happens if I have to be so focused on the process, the physical process, that those pieces wouldn't turn out if if something's sort of pulling me, pulling my thoughts elsewhere, then the next technique or the next step in, in the process. Mm. So when, you, when you're working on a glass piece, is there something that you consciously are trying to shape, or is there something the piece is trying to shape in you? Both. So there's, there's this bell curve that way, because in the beginning, I had to learn enough of the technique to be able to accomplish to the point that the piece would speak to me. And so that took many years, actually. And then, then the pieces started speaking to me. But in the beginning, I usually have some kind of a plan and some kind of an idea of what I want to do, whether it be color, shape, or something. And I start with that. And I, I most times don't stick to that because then the piece starts speaking mm -hmm. and will say, do this. And I'm thinking, oh, really? It looks so great the way I had it planned. And then it'll say, do it. And then when I, if I don't listen to that and do it, it's a mediocre piece. Mm -hmm. When I do listen to that, it's a, a spectacular piece. Mm. So that's that process pushes me when the piece pushes me on. So if you were to uh, stand on some place, some neutral spot, and look at your life from, let's say, the time you were six to where you are right now, would that process you're going through with your work be, to, would it reflect how your life has operated all these years? Yeah. Or, I'm just asking. I think, so. I mean, yeah. I mean, I haven't heard it put in such a broad spectrum. Because <laughs> usually I'm just like this in yeah. the moment. But yeah, it definitely has. And the times that I don't do it, you know, like if the, pe the times that I haven't listened, and either made a change or reached out to something really scary or whatever the challenge may be, I end up actually sort of double timing it or double working it in a way. And I realized, wow, I could have, if I listened, it would have been different. Mm -hmm. Not that, because I don't really believe in like, I don't have regrets, a lot of regrets and stuff like that, but I do see when I fight what's happening there's not a lot of the fight gets less the older I get I'll put it that way mm. I go for the challenge 